Welcome eighth graders and future Aragon class of 2025. My name is Miss Sanguinetti. And I'm Miss Ho. And we are here today to hopefully prepare you for your ninth grade year. So along with Ms. Sanguinetti and I, we also have two awesome counselors. We have Dr. Cervantes and we also have Mr. Alicott. In our counseling office, we also have four advisors here to help support you and assist you with any questions or concerns that you might have. So what exactly is the role of your school counselor? There's three main areas that we work with you throughout your four years. Uh, that is with academic support, where we work with you to place you into the classes that you would like. We review your academic progress and your ninth grade year will work with making a four year plan so that we can continually revisit that to help you set your goals and reach those goals. We also work with you in, around personal and social support. Uh, we help you get connected on campus, find balance throughout your schedule. Uh, we understand that sometimes stuff happens and you need somebody to talk to or help with crisis management. We're here to help. We're also here to help you uh, connect you with outside resources if needed. We also help with career and post high school support. And what that means is throughout high school, we'll be exploring college and different careers. Um, and throughout, you know, when you enter your senior year, we will help you with that application process. And when you get to your senior year and you need help with that application, we are well staffed. We have the awesome College and Career Center with Mrs. Tzak there pictured on the left hand side. She is our College and Career Advisor and you could honestly start get, um, going to see her during your junior year. Um, so there's not, you don't have to wait until your senior year, but she's there uh, for any questions. We have Ms. Mawala there in the middle. She's our scholarship and financial aid advisor. And then on the right, we have Mrs. O'Brien, who is our career technical education coordinator. So when you enter Aragon, our goal is that you become experts in what you need to earn your diploma at the end of your senior year. So I'm going to go over our graduation requirements. And just to let you know, there are a subject area requirement. So those are the different classes that you need to take throughout your time here. And there's also a credit requirement. And that magic credit number is 220 credits. OK, um, just to go through these briefly, because we will be exploring them more throughout the presentation, you will be taking four years of English, three years of social science, which is also known as history excuse me, three and a half years of social science. Uh, math will be three years, two years of science, and one year of that must be a biological science, and the second year of that must be a physical science. Mm -hmm. One year of world language, one year of visual and performing arts, one year of a career technical education class. You'll be taking two years of physical education, one semester long health course, and the rest of your courses kind of trickle down into the elective categories where you do need 40 credits. You'll also hear uh, a term often throughout your four years called the A through G requirements. And what the A through G is, it's a term of a list of subject requirements all students in California must complete in order to be eligible for freshman admissions to the California State University and or the University of California College System. So basically, this is the requirements that you need to meet in order to apply to a four year college. The good thing about the A through G requirements is that they are pretty much aligned with our graduation requirement. Mm -hmm. um, there are there's one difference that I will review right now with you, but I wanted to go through and let you know um, what these requirements are. Uh, subject area A is social science. You need two years of that. And as you could remember, we need three and a half years to graduate. Four years of English, three years of mathematics, and you'll see that a fourth year is always recommended, and we will recommend you to do that. Two years of a lab science, where in addition, a third year or a fourth year is always recommended. And then the one area that there is a difference is in the world language category. For graduation purposes, we were fine with you taking one year. But to be eligible for a four year college, you would have to take two years of the same world language. One year of visual and performing arts and one year of a college prep elective. All of
of your classes must be passed with a C grade or higher in order for you to be eligible for a four-year college after high school. So do freshman year grades count for college? They absolutely do. Everything that you take throughout high school will count towards your uh, college eligibility. So we encourage you to try your best, challenge yourself, um, and if you need help or support, please reach out. Mm -hmm. This is a sample uh, six period day. And the reason that I wanted to give you an example of a six period day um, is to show you that if you take six classes throughout your four years, you will absolutely meet your 220 credit requirement. Each class that you take, you can earn five credits. Um, if students take six classes in the fall and six classes in the spring, they could end their year earning 60 credits if they pass all of their classes. If you took six classes all four years and earned 60 credits each year, you would end with 240 credits. So as you can see, there's a 20 credit cushion embedded there for you, um, just in case, you know, something happened throughout your four years. Um, and so, you know, we want you to know that you can definitely take six classes each year and fulfill everything that you need to for graduation. This is a sample ninth grade schedule. Everybody will be taking English. Everybody will be taking a semester of ethnic studies and a semester of health. Everybody will be taking a math course, biology, PE, and then your sixth period you have a choice to either fulfill, to start your world language or to maybe start your visual and performing arts. The seventh period is optional, as you can see. Um, some of you may be interested in joining a different program that we have on campus, maybe our AVID program or our leadership publications, or some of you may need a support class. This is where your seventh period would come, um, come into play and we would schedule that during that time. So one class that we all know for sure that you're going to be taking for all four years is English. Starting with your freshman year, you have a choice, though, between your English class, whether to take English 1 or English 1 AS Advanced Standing. And the difference is really um, a question that you should ask yourself on whether or not you enjoy reading outside of class. Um, and also, do you enjoy writing? I believe that the if you ask yourself that and you or one who is an avid reader who just um, can't wait for the next um, science fiction book to come out or maybe the next Harry Potter series, whatever it is, uh, then maybe perhaps you should enroll in the English One Advanced Standing course. Uh, English One is just as challenging as well as it prepares you not only for high school level, but definitely as you move through the next four years, it prepares you for college level English. So um, the difference is really what you are most comfortable with. Both of them are rigorous and challenging. And if even if you don't choose AES your freshman year, you certainly can try AES your sophomore year. And AES um, also does prepare you for the AP classes come your 11th and 12th grade year. But it is not a prerequisite. You don't have to take AES in order to be uh, enrolled in advanced placement English classes later on. Uh, but it is definitely a rigorous course and it's just really up to you. And either way, if you have more questions, you certainly can talk to your counselor about it. Along with another class that you will be taking your ninth grade year is one semester of ethnic studies and then also one semester of health. And keep in mind that health is a high school graduation requirement, but it is not a college requirement. And then moving into the mathematics uh, subject area, we took a snapshot from our math sequence uh, page for you here. Um, and in red, those are the, the math courses that you are possibly in currently right now. Um, and if you are in math eight, you'll see that the arrow is going down to algebra one. That will be the class that you'll be taking in ninth grade. If you are taking algebra one in eighth grade, you have the option to come into Aragon taking geometry. Okay, what I do want to point out is that even if you come in taking Algebra 1 at the ninth grade level, there are still opportunities for you to accelerate in math. We have our compressed math course, 
um, which is three math courses uh, taught in two years. And you can join that class after you've taken Algebra 1 in your ninth grade year. This is the larger snapshot of our math sequence. And so I wanted to show you, you know, after geometry, your options really open up and we offer fantastic math classes for you um, to really tailor your goals and, uh, you know, the, the direction that you are going into. Unfortunately, we're not allowing students to take summer school for math advancement, um, but we will be available on programming nights to answer any questions you have about math. All students will be taking biology in their ninth grade year. That will be your science course. And all students will be taking two full years of PE. You'll be taking those in your freshman and your sophomore years. We do offer PE electives that you can take in your 11th and 12th grade years if you really enjoy that class. World language will be one of two choices that you can choose for your sixth class. So we have uh, options of Chinese, Japanese, and Spanish. And then if you are currently a native speaker of Spanish, such as if you're speaking it at home right now, you could also sign up for Spanish for Native Speakers 3. Chinese and the Spanish placement tests are yet to be determined. And once we figure out the time and date, we will definitely get that out to you. Visual and Performing Arts is the other option for the sixth class. We have uh, different types of arts here at Aragon. We have art, ceramics, drama, technical theater, and dance. And with dance, we actually have three separate levels. And for the intermediate and advanced levels, you do need to audition. And once we do have the audition dates, we will get that out to you as well. Within the VAPA, we also have music. We have concert band, jazz band, which requires you to have the ability to read music in at least one year of experience. Jazz band, you don't need to have the one year of experience, but definitely you should have the ability to read music. And that's the same for our string orchestra. You do need to read music and have one year of experience. Um, then we have two other fun courses here too. We have choir and chorus where you don't need to audition for. So if you really, if you're the type of student who's been singing in the shower, maybe you've been singing out loud around the house, um, you know, definitely please try out our choir. And for those who already have maybe some uh, performance experience in singing, you should try out our a cappella group. They not only perform on school campus, but they also perform throughout our community. And it's such a wonderful group. In addition to all of our academic courses that we offer, we also offer support classes for students. Um, in your ninth grade year, we have English support and we also have guided studies. These courses are dedicated to helping you build those skills that you need to be successful in the rest of your classes whether that be organizational skills, study skills, test taking skills, um, really focusing in on those executive functioning skills that you need throughout high school. Um, we want to make sure that you feel confident in your classes um, so that you can be the best version of you. We also have some wonderful eighth period electives that are open to you, which is journalism and publications. Uh, journal journalism is our newspaper, the Aragon Outlook, and we have yearbook, the El Tesoro. Um, it's a great way to get involved, great way to give back to your community, uh, great way to get your pictures in the yearbook and start making those memories early. We also have a fantastic AVID program here at Aragon, and I'm going to let our AVID program do a little bit more explaining of the awesome opportunities that we have with AVID. Hi, eighth graders. My name is Miss Chiara, and I'm one of the AVID coordinators at Aragon High School. I also currently teach the freshman AVID class and I will loop with them all the way up until their senior year. So what is AVID? AVID is a four-year program at Aragon High School that stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. It is a nationally recognized program and AVID's mission statement is to prepare all students for college readiness and success in a global society. So our mission is to teach you skills and strategies to be successful in high school, um, in college, and beyond. Who is the AVID student? 
The AVID student is motivated to attend a four-year college. They may not know what school they want to go to. They not, may not know much about college, but they know that they want to go. They're hardworking and individually determined. Remember, that's 50% of AVID, A-V-I-D, individual determination. That means they are willing to work hard, that they have that motivation uh, to succeed. They're also willing to learn and use note-taking systems that will help them better remember or retain information. AVID students may need assistance in navigating the college process. The college process can be very confusing, very unclear. So AVID will help you, will guide you along the path um, you know, we metaphorically take your hand and we walk you through it. Um, we learn all about how to sign up for financial aid, um, how to apply for a scholarship. And together, senior year, we sit down and we fill out those college applications together. How does AVID work? Well, we strengthen organizational and note taking skills. And we do that because students who are organized students who take notes and review their notes tend to do better and we want you to be the best candidate possible for a four-year school now as a freshman we provide you with all of those tools for success um, you get a three ring binder a three inch three ring binder where you will put all of your assignments and paperwork and worksheets from all seven of your classes all in one central location so you won't lose anything we also encourage our students to do the focus notes uh, focus notes is a method that ensures that you are reviewing your notes over and over again uh, because we want to take that information that you're learning in your content class and we want you to commit it to long-term memory so you can do well so you remember the information so you can apply it to your your life now you may be familiar with cornell notes um, and cornell notes is just one format of focus notes you can do two column notes three column notes venn diagrams interactive notebooks uh, mind maps as long as you're going through the five phases of the focus note-taking process, then you will be fine. We also do tutorials at AVID, and these are small student-led study groups. So you bring in to AVID a question you have from a content class, like maybe you didn't do so well on this one homework uh, question. Uh, you got it wrong, you don't know why. Well, you bring it into AVID, and together with your peers, you will work through it. They will ask you questions, so you'll practice those inquiry skills. They'll ask you questions and help you come to your aha moment. We also want you to be better prepared for high school and college, which is why our AVID curriculum consists of college research, career research. Um, we teach you reading skills and strategies, note taking skills and strategies, uh, test taking skills and strategies. You also learn leadership skills. Uh, we build that through team building activities. We do a lot of team building because we want our students to feel comfortable with each other and we build something called our, our little avid family. We also enjoy college field trips and guest speakers. Um, so our we had a guest speaker earlier this year, um, Morgan Deppenthal, uh, owner and creator of the Exo Mask. Uh, she's an industrial designer and she taught us her method of designing something from its conception to its execution. We also attend a cultural field trip every spring, whether it's the SF MoMA or the Asian Art Museum, which is right here. We also explore careers um, through career research and college research as well. So not only do we conduct college research, but we also visit college campuses as well um, every year uh, to a different school. And our sophomores go on an overnight Southern California field trip to visit Southern California schools. All right. Thank you so much for listening to my little spiel. Uh, you can find the AVID application at this bit.ly link over here. And if you have any other questions, you can email me at tchiaro at smuhsd.org. Thank you so much. Hope to see you join the AVID family. So thank you for watching AVID video. And also now you learned about all the classes that you will be taking at Aragon. So when are you going to select your classes? 
Well, guess what? You actually have the chance to meet with us, uh, the counseling staff through Zoom. Uh, you have the option of between two dates, one of two dates. You choose either Thursday, March 18th in the evening from 4 to 7 p.m. Or you can choose Saturday morning from 9 to 12 on March 20th. Uh, you during um, that time, you will be able to meet one on one with a counseling staff member to answer any questions that you might have uh, regarding the classes that you selected. So where are you going to select this form? Well, this form, the link to the course planning form, it will be sent to you to the email that you used during registration to our district. So um, whichever email that you use, please make sure that you check your inbox for a link to this form. Uh, along with this link to a form will be just also a bunch of other resources to get you acquainted and ready for Aragon. So, and also I do want to keep it, want you to keep in mind that choosing Thursday, March 18th at four o'clock, getting that first appointment does not ensure that you will be able to get the class that you want. Um, all of our classes are, uh, the availability of the class is really based on the class size, not when you meet with this, not when you submit that form. So. If you are able to, um, if you are only available to meet with us on Saturday, March 20th at 12 p.m., that's okay. And you probably will get um, all the classes that you choose. So like Ms. Home was saying, um, you will be emailed the ninth grade programming form. And so this is just a snapshot of what that, that front of, um, page looks like of the form. So keep an eye out. Um, we really worked hard to lay everything out um, as smooth as possible, answer as many questions on the form as we could. Um, but again, during those one-on-one -on -one meetings, you'll be able to ask us any questions to clarify um, so that we could get you set up in the right classes. This is also a snapshot of what our virtual programming event uh, planning form appointment calendar looks like. Um, and so you will be able to pick the best time that suits you and your family. So just some uh, important dates to recap. We have our incoming ninth grade programming Zoom dates on Thursday, March 18th from seven, or excuse me, from four to 7 p.m. We have Saturday, March 20th from 9 a.m. to 12. We have our incoming family info night on March 11th. Um, so that's coming up. Uh, time is to be determined. So we will get that info out to you ASAP. Every fall um, in August, we have a new student orientation that is a fun-filled day for students. We'll have more information to come on that. But we do have, which is very exciting, our tentative first day of school, and that is August 11th, 2021. We are so excited to have you at Aragon and to, for you to join our family, and we are really looking forward to working with you and your families. Thank you so, so much. Thank Go you. Dons. Go Dons, yay. Hi, my name is Melissa Perino and I'm the Director of Student Activities here at Aragon High School. My name is Ben Wen. I am uh, ASV Treasurer and Secretary. Hi, my name is Lucy Yan. I am the ASB Vice President. Hi, my name is Angela Buntapanya and I am an exec member of the Renaissance class. And we're here today to talk to you a little bit about student life here at Aragon High School and what is it like to be an Aragon student. One of the things that you'll see um, when you first show up on campus is our Aragon Is board that is located outside the leadership room. And we had asked students to identify who we are as a community. Um, and since it's so small right there on your screen, um, we took the uh, words that came up the most. And so our student body believes us to be an inclusive and diverse campus that is accepting, we're a family, caring, and one of the words that came up the most was Ohana. The things that we are not as a community are bullies, exclusive, basic, boring, discriminatory, or judgmental. And so I like to start with this slide as a reminder that you're coming into a really welcoming and inclusive community who is gonna champion you and appreciate you for exactly who you are. One of the things that is really kind of scary about the transition from middle, to, middle school to high school is, the is that transition and not knowing what to expect. 
Um, one, one of the ways that you can ease a transition to high school is by getting involved early on. Join a sport, join a club, participate, enroll in the leadership class. There are so many opportunities that are available to you. And so we want you to take those healthy risks and we want for you to take an effort to get to know your new community. There are lots of ways that at Aragon, we're gonna support your student. Um, we have our Link Crew program, which is composed of upperclassmen who really help shepherd in our new students and introduce them not just to the culture of Aragon High School, um, but, but really help them through um, you know, getting to know our new community and feel welcome and feel like you have a place like Aragon is a home for you. We have awesome staffalty. You'll see a little bit later some of the wonderful things that our staffalty are willing to do um, to keep the student body happy. You have academic advisors, you have an academic counselor, you have, we have wellness counselors um, who have been really integral, especially during this, um, this time in distance learning. We have college career and financial aid services and special to Aragon, we have a flex time, which is time built into the schedule for each of our students to get one-on-one -on -one help um, from their teachers. And so it's a time to get academic support um, that's built into the, into the schedule as opposed to um, having to go after school or during your lunchtime. One of our greatest and newest programs um, that's a part of our leadership program is our Link Crew program. And our Link Crew runs our new student orientation that takes place in August. In um, the documents that you receive from your middle school, as well as um, you can find the QR code um, on the last slide of this presentation, uh, the QR code will link you to all of our updated information due to the constant changes because of the pandemic. Um, we will be keeping that um, the, the link to the QR code um, updated with the events. Uh, but we have our new student orientation. And this is the first time that our new Aragon students will be coming onto campus and they will be meeting their link crew leaders who really are gonna help them meet new students from other schools and get an understanding for our campus what our, uh, what our school community is about, our belief system. Um, they're gonna give high school tips, how to survive the first uh, semester and do well in all of your classes, how to get into your locker, what to do in this, in this situation. And they also continue that relationship throughout their years at Aragon. Um, it is not unusual for Link Crew leaders to be maintaining contact every month, um, having uh, different activities for your students to participate in, because we believe at Aragon that students who are connected are happier, they perform better in school, and ultimately it makes it a safer campus for us all. Um, so we are really big on making sure that our students connect to one another, to the faculty, and to our community. Um, so Link Crew is an awesome uh, leadership program that we have and a way for you to meet new students when you come to Aragon. Um, here we have linked two different videos that you can see uh, that kind of showcase the welcome that your students will get when they come to Aragon. Okay, and so we really take um, our job very seriously here in activities. We know that we have 180 days to make an impact and to make you believe what we always say here at Aragon, once a dawn, always a dawn. We want you connected, happy, feeling like you're valued and seen and appreciated on this campus. And so we're really excited to have you here. And we wanna make sure that in your first 180 days here on, on uh, the Aragon's campus that you, um, that you are included, seen and appreciated. Hey, thank you, Ms. Reno. Let's go over how you guys can get involved in student life. We'll be covering how you can participate in everyday life clubs, sports, and theater. Lucy, Angela, and I will be covering these, and we look forward to introducing all of the programs we have at Aragon to you. Let's start off with Spirit Days and Games. Most of you probably know what Spirit Days are. However, for those of you who don't, Spirit Days are when you dress up to a fun theme and you can have photo shoots with friends. At Aragon, we have competitions between the different grades to see which class can earn the most points. We also have games. These are some themes of the games we've had in the past, such as Red Sea, Blackout, Pink Out, our LGBTQ game, our home football and basketball games. And as on this slide, there are many pictures. You guys can see rallies, you guys can see games, you guys can see Spirit Days. They're all on here. And there might even be some teachers on here dressed up. So we love our teachers here at Aragon and they are willing to go so far for us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> 
Next, we'll cover rallies and school dances. So we have all school rallies where dance team, the cheer squads, teachers, sports teams, games, and Amazing Spirit will all be present. We have lunchtime rallies where there are games and contests and promotions for events. You guys can see four of our administration dressed up as candy, cotton candy in the picture in the top left corner. We also have whole school dances. We have homecoming, we have formal. These are available to freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. And you guys can see some of the pictures from our dances. We also have prom, but the, that's for juniors and seniors. We have a video linked on this slide for you guys to check out our formal rally from 2020. This was just before distance learning started. So if you guys want to get a taste of what in-person school is like, feel free to click on that. Next slide, please. Thank you. We also have many clubs at Aragon. Clubs are such an important part in our community. And we believe that you guys should definitely get involved with clubs. We have a wide range, about 70 clubs. And if you don't find any clubs that fit your interests, you can always create your own club. Most clubs meet at lunch. However, there are exceptions to this. And they're an incredible way to explore your options. If there isn't a course for something you're especially interested in, you can create a club. You can participate in a club and still pursue those interests. Club fair is in August. And what club fair is, is if you guys can see the picture at the bottom, all of these clubs will have a small demo about what they do. And you guys can see which clubs you are interested in and sign up for them. We highly encourage participating in clubs and we would look forward to throwing club fair for you guys next year. If you guys want to check out the current clubs that exist at Aragon, you can click the blue link at the title of this slide and they'll take you to our club website that will have all of the different clubs, their meeting times and a short description for those of you who want to know more. Okay, over to you, awesome. Lucy. Thank you, Ben. So going into sports, sports is one of the biggest parts of our Aragon community. Over 50% of our students are athletes in one or more sports. Um, we even have some people participating in three sports. So you're limited to one sport per season just to make sure that each athlete is committed to their sport in terms of games and practices during that season. Um, and we're going to kind of go over the different sports in each season um, and the level of competitiveness and playtime in each of those. Um, but do know that all students are welcome to try out for any sport that you'd like. Um, you can go ahead and try out for a sport that you've been playing in competitively for years, or you can just try a new one um, just to play leisurely and meet new people. Um, and we have three levels, freshman, JV, and varsity, varsity being the most experienced level. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about our rosters or our schedules or tryouts, um, or even buy merchandise, you can go ahead and go to the maxpreps.com website and search for our Aragon teams. And there you can find all of those um, things. And lastly, if you're interested in playing a fall sport, make sure that you are preparing to get your physical as soon as possible because um, a lot of fall sports do practice in the summer. For example, I play volleyball and we have conditioning and open gyms over the summer so that we're able to train our athletes before our season starts, as well as meet all the new freshmen who are interested in playing that sport as well. Um, and in order to participate in those, you do need to be cleared by your doctor. So make sure to do that as soon as you can and prepare for that if you're interested in the fall sport. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and so we're gonna go over all of the sports that we have in each season. So in the fall, we have cross country, girls golf, girls tennis, girls volleyball, water polo and football and fall sports typically run from August to November, depending on how long your season is. In the winter, we have basketball for, bo for both boys and girls. We have wrestling, soccer and competitive cheer and that typically runs from November and December to um, February. Um, and then for spring, we have badminton, baseball, softball, boys golf, lacrosse, swimming, boys tennis, track and field, and boys volleyball. Um, and as you can see, the title of this presentation or the slide is linked with um, a document that shows the three tiers of sports that you can get involved in. Um, so the first one is one of the most easy sports to get into because their rosters are very large. And so they're typically able to accommodate 
all of the students who want to try out for that. And so sports like that typically include track and field um, and cross country and such. Um, the next tier we have is called more difficult um, in which there still is a big amount of people trying out, but the roster is still um, typically big enough to fit those people, but there are, sometimes are cuts. And so um, sports like that include girls tennis. And then lastly, our third tier is most difficult in which it's sometimes it's competitive to get your play time as well as there are um, a lot of people who do try out and very limited spots on our roster. Um, and so if you're interested in looking at how competitive certain sports are to see which ones you would like to get involved in, um, make sure to check that document out to see all of the sports listed in those categories. Another huge part of our Aragon community is our performing arts. Um, so we have a huge fall musical um, during the first semester, and then we have a spring play in the second semester. So on the slide, you can see two flyers, one from our um, fall musical and one from our spring play in our 2020 year. Um, and I remember going to these plays and they were absolutely incredible just seeing how all of the teams could come together to put out such an amazing play. And there were so many families and I brought some friends from other schools to come watch this play. And it was so great just being able to appreciate the hard work that our drama program puts into this. Um, and not only that, um, we have larger performing arts groups outside of Aragon Drama. If you're not interested in that, um, you can also get involved in making props and setting those up for the plays and um, musicals. If you're interested in that, you can join our tech theater class. Um, you're also, if you want to do improv, we have an improv team on our campus and we also have acapella groups and a lot of other singing and musical groups um, on our campus as well, if those suit your interests. All right, um, one of the other ways you can get involved is by taking a leadership class or running for class council. All right, um, so starting with leadership, um, there are two classes that you can apply um, for, and both classes are in charge of creating school-wide events. Um, and they build school culture and celebrate the Aragon community um, because you guys are continuing a lot of traditions um, and starting new fresh events that people look forward to. Um, this, con this connects the entire school, um, makes, feel it makes everyone feel like they're involved, um, and all student uh, events are planned by their peers, so it's made by students, and it's for students and staff faculty. Um, the application for applying to leadership is um, in the title. That's what it's linked to. It tells you um, what you need to do and what you need to bring. All right. Um, also, there is class council, um, which you can run for. Um, if you get elected, then you are in charge of your class's fundraisers, um, which uh, you get money for, future class activities, um, which includes prom, because they cost money. Um, you, you also sell class spirit gear, um, which is used in rallies. Um, and you can also get class bonding. You also create class bonding activities, um, which help build your class's chemistry and make you guys feel closer connected. Um, if you are in class council, you're involved in a lot of changes in the school. Um, there are town halls that every student, there, where one student from each class in your grade um, attends to a meeting that you host, and you talk about a lot of, opi of like opinions and concerns about new and upcoming changes, um, and they voice their opinions, and then they um, tell their class in live and up. And so elections for the class of 2025 will happen in the fall, um, but it's something for you to keep an eye on if you are interested in being a leader who serves your Aragon community. Okay, so we hope by now you're really excited about all the opportunities that Aragon has for you to get involved and get connected. We really believe in having fun as a community and, um, and I hope that you see that through this presentation and through the Google site that we created for all of our incoming ninth graders. Um, some other ways to start transitioning into the high school and thinking about all the opportunities opportunities that we're going to have when we're together, um, I put on this final slide. So the first thing that I would tell any student is start watching videos to see what kind of community you're coming into, right? Um, we've all been in distance learning for a year. Aragon, we really miss each other. So um, hopefully we're all back together in August because we, we do miss each other. Um, I've linked a few different experiences or moments um, from Aragon um, here on this slide for you, and they'll also be on that Google slide. Um, I'm sorry, that Google site. Um, so Halloween is a really big deal at Aragon and all of the different departments dress up and do a costume contest that the students judge. So um, our last Halloween rally is linked there so that you can see um, uh, 
uh, how involved all the faculty are in trying to win this pumpkin trophy. Uh, every other year we have a lift up that's an all school music video where everyone participates and we get to showcase what a fun community we have. So our most recent lift up um, is linked there for you to see as well. And good news because uh, 2021 is our next lift up year. So that, that when you're a freshman, we should be filming lift up. So you'll get to participate and see how that goes. We do a lift up every other year. Um, this year to help break up the monotony of distance learning and to show how much our staff and faculty love our students. We did um, a, a Staffelty Reads mean tweets. So the students wrote some mean tweets for the teachers and then we read them out loud um, and reacted to those. And it was really funny because when we were creating it, we were like, well, I don't know that the kids are gonna say such mean things to us. Cause like um, someone had said earlier in the presentation, uh, our staff and faculty and our students, we all get along really well. So the, the tweets weren't that mean, but you can see the, the links that our staff are willing to go to to make our community welcoming and fun and like a good place to be. Uh, and then one other video that we put together while we were in distance learning this year, uh, we asked the student body to submit to us their favorite moments from Aragon from when we were together. And so that last video under letter D uh, is made by our students uh, that we just put it together, but they're our favorite memories together as a community. And so, uh, so you should check those out to give, to get of like what life is like. Normally you all would have come onto campus and shadowed with us and been here for our open house. And so you would have seen a lot of these things uh, before, but since we're in distance learning and we are keeping everyone safe, uh, hopefully the videos will suffice. The second thing that you can do to start getting ready for Aragon is to get your red and black ready. We wear red and black on Fridays. So we've linked our spirit shop if you want to start shopping from some spirit gear so that you can be all set on day one. Um, that is linked there for number two. And then the third thing to help ease the transition and to kind of start thinking about that transition to Aragon is to be in the know of what events we're throwing for you before school even starts. So our orientation program starts the week before school uh, begins. Um, right now, because of the uncertainty with like what tier we're in and what's going on, uh, we're being general and saying August 2020, 2021. Um, but if you scan that QR code that's right there, it will link you to our website, our school website that has the updated information. So we'll be updating that all throughout uh, the rest of the spring semester and through the summer um, so that you know what's coming up because we want you to be a part of everything that we're planning for you and for our community when, we're, when we all come back together. Okay, so make sure you have that QR code handy and that you scan it um, throughout the summer so that you know what's coming up. We're so excited for you to be um, a part of our community. And like we said, Aragon, once a dawn, always a dawn. We'll see you soon. Welcome to Aragon. Thank you. Hey, future dons. I am Miss Ellen Smartin. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Aragon. I wanna especially thank our AVID teachers, our leadership students, Ms. Perino and Ms. Ho and Ms. Sanguinetti for the presentation they gave. I also want to direct you to our Welcome Class of 2025 website. Here you'll be able to find our videos, our lip dubs, learn more about our community, our campus culture, and all things for your transition to Aragon. You can shop our spirit store by looking over at the left. You can also find your appointment here to choose your classes with your counselor at our programming event, just as Ms. Sanguinetti and Ms. Ho mentioned. So we hope you check it out, that you have a great rest of your semester, a wonderful and safe summer, and we will see you in the fall. Go Dons!